So apparently the PAP has a huge victory over Sync First in the Jurong GRC. Sync First! Sync First! Sync Sync First! <laughs> and it's obvious why it happened, right? You get... Oh. You're welcome! Hey guys! So the general election 2015 is pretty interesting and it is very clear that the social media platform is a very very powerful tool. It shows that something may sound like a popular opinion where in actual case it's not but I think that's not the main thing that we can take away from this whole uh, GE 2015. So what can we learn from the general elections 2015? Number one, we all live in our own bubble. If we just take a look at the issues and the problems and the things that people bring up, different people put different issues as a priority. It's not about us getting a seat in the parliament, it's about us getting you a seat in the MRT. And all of us have a particular agenda in supporting a particular political party. And the issues that kind of affects us actually varies from person to person. Because at the end of the day, it's all about our own survival. So you have one group of people who thinks that their problem is so important that it needs to be resolved. Whereas you have another group of people who thinks that by solving the society's problem, it's gonna improve their own personal survivability. So yeah, we all think for ourselves. You all think for yourself. Everybody gets one thing for yourself. Number two, with everybody thinking for themselves, it is natural that we can't please everyone. Personally, I feel that the government has done a great job, but that opinion is coming from myself being in a kind of a middle income family. And the thing is, there is always a group of people who will be marginalized by the government's policy. And this applies to life as well. Now, a lot of times we are out there, we are trying to impress people, you know, try and make everybody like us and so on. And the fact is, some people don't give no two shit. If nobody gives no shit, means everybody gives shit. That's deep. We should just focus on people that are important, people that matters to us, and you know, give them lots of shit. <laughs> Finally, number three, we are all emotional creatures. Emotional can be emotional or it can be emotional. We all like to think that we make decisions and form opinions by logic and facts. Okay, let me put it this way. Think of one most non-emotional thing that you can ever do in your life. That's right, getting married, no. <laughs> solving math problem. And then you might be thinking, Psh, I don't get emotional over math problems. But the fact is, this happens. N minus 3. N minus 7. 6 plus 8. I know enough fingers. Boo! Boo to the PAP! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a special announcement to make. So, in weeks to come, I'm gonna try something. I want to start making movie reviews. And the idea is this I want to look at films that I like and really study and look at why I like them and the areas that I don't. It's kind of like a personal project for myself uh, to grow as a filmmaker. If you haven't seen uh, my previous vlog, you can click here. And my previous video, you can click here. Okay, let me put it this way. Think of one... Uh, <laughs> FYI, that was a burp. <laughs>